I actually started doing CrossFit when I was about 11. Um, my favorite part of that was weightlifting. And um, I had a friend who introduced me to the weightlifting coach at Auburndale High School. I actually didn't go there until I started weightlifting. And, um, but I met with the coach and he was super nice and um, we just really connected. And um, then I just started going to practices and I, I loved it because uh, weightlifting always had been my favorite part of CrossFit and um, that's what I was best at. And I just felt like I really excelled in that. It, it took a lot of support. I had so many helpers, like my friends and family. I could not have done it without so much support from them. But I'd have to work out six, maybe even seven days a week. I would go to practices, and then after I'd go to the gym, do a workout or just accessories. But sometimes I'd do workouts like morning and night. And um, really had to focus on nutrition too, especially because I'm in a low weight category. And um, it's, a, it's really hard to cut back weight, especially so close near the end, so um, I actually had trouble with that one time. <laughs> but you really have to hone in on your nutrition, on working out every day, and you just got to do it and stay committed to it. Well, actually, um, with doing school and with um, sports, sometimes it gets up to be a lot, but I've always really focused on my grades and wanted to do my best. So I was actually top 20 at my school. I got like a, like a 4.2 or 3 GPA. And um, it, it really does apply to everything. If you have like a good work ethic in um, school, that transfers to working out and vice versa. I just always want to do my best at whatever I do. Man, it, did, it took a lot of help, a lot of support from family and friends, as I said, but that senior year was so stressful, man, just because there was just so much going on with um, just finals and all the senior stuff, and then working every day in the gym. Yeah, I had to miss a lot of stuff. I had to um, just work super extra hard with all that school going on at the same time. So it took a lot of like sacrifice to do everything, I guess. I've actually been told that at my, um, at my school, there's been girls who came up to my coach and they're like, Someone from our school, a girl, won a state championship. They're like, can I do that? Can you help me do that? And I feel like it, it feels so amazing to have inspired people. And um, just by being a girl weightlifter and the first, in, the first girl in Polk County to win a state championship or a state weightlifting championship. But it feels so cool to have like made a difference or at least even inspired some people. Um, and I just hope to do that with everything that I do.